Hello dear friends, another message I bring to you. May God bless it to your life and in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just a 10 minute message but one that I've entitled uh, The Road Map to Heaven. We have a road map to heaven. And I thank God for it. It's fine and uh, we're, we, we have to face the fact that one day we're going to stand before God and there's two places out there in eternity and only two that we're facing. One of them is heaven with its beauty and its glory and its joy forever. The other is hell with its darkness and its pits and its and its pain and sorrow. And so we need to recognize according to the Bible that we need to make our choice. And I want you to choose the road map to heaven and find out how to get there. And here's the way. We get to heaven our number one step is found in John 14th chapter verse 6 Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. No man comes to heaven except by me. That's what Jesus is saying. He's the only one that can get us to heaven, and the reason is, He's the only one that paid for our sins. On that cross, He paid for all of them when you believe in Him. And then He rose again. He's the only one that rose out of that grave and is alive today. He's, he's, he will hear your prayer and He will help you and guide you and direct your life. And so it is that He is the only one that can save us. He's the only one in heaven that's interceding for us. And He's the only one that's coming back one day and we're going to stand before Him. And the Bible says that when we do, every knee will bow before Him. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So you need to confess Him right now. The way you confess him is just say to him, Dear dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins upon the cross at Calvary. I believe that he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. And I praise God. The Lord Jesus, come in my heart and help me live for you. Amen. Pray a prayer like that. Find your good church and go to it and, and uh, follow him in baptism as the Lord leads and, and live for him. You're saved by grace. The Bible says over in John 14, the 13th chapter, then you need to, to learn to pray. Talk to God is the uh, next step in getting to heaven. Uh, we need to do this because we're born again. We don't, we, don't, uh, we don't pray in order to get to heaven. We pray because we're on our way to heaven. We're saved, and then we need to pray. Jesus said, You shall ask in my name, and whatever you will, and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Anything in the name of Jesus, if, and, and we need to pray that the Father may be glorified in Jesus Christ in that answer. So when you pray, always think of this. Is this prayer honoring God? Does it please God? And if it does, we can know that we are saved, born again, and we're going to have our prayers answered one way or the other. So the Bible says over in Mark, the 10th chapter, uh, verse, 4th chapter, when he was, Jesus was alone, the twelve came to him and asked him some things. When Jesus was alone. There were times when Jesus got alone to pray to the Father. We need at times to pray with people. We need to pray with groups of people. We need to pray with just one or two with us. But there are times when we need to get alone, just just you and God, you need to get alone with Him. Jesus did that often. And so it is that you need to pray and call upon the name of the Lord. You need to find you a good church. Not because in, in order to be saved, but because you are saved. You need to find a good church and worship God. Hebrews the 10th chapter says this, uh, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. Hold fast that profession we made. Let us consider uh, to do for others good works and because we love them. And then it says not, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together in the church as a matter of some is, but even more because we know the time is approaching when Jesus is coming back. And so we need to find a good church and worship with God with, with his people that will make you stronger and find your way in Christ to serve the Lord. To serve the Lord. God's road map to heaven. 
Oh, praise the Lord. Matthew 6, 33 said, uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all that you need will be added to you. Take no thought for tomorrow, for it is sufficient to take care of itself. Just live for God today. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek first what God wants of your life. Let him have his way in your life and you'll find the strength. The strength to go on. The Holy Spirit will abide in you. The Lord will give you the Holy Spirit. And that will be your strength as you can live for God. And you'll know that the power, the power comes, but it's coming through you, but not from you. It's coming through you, but it's coming from God. And that's the secret. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. This is important. This is what we need to do every day as we seek the will and the way of the Lord. God bless you. We're on our way home. And this is God's roadmap. We're on our way home to heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is it. Come, all come ye that love the Lord, and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. And thus surround the throne, and thus surround the throne. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching over to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Come we then, let our songs abound, oh, and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground, we're marching through Emmanuel's ground. To fairer worlds on high, to fairer worlds on high. We're marching to Zion, a beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Amen. I praise God. I plan to meet you there. I plan to look, I look forward to seeing you up there with him where we'll never part and be with God forever. And may the hand of the Lord be upon you. And may we all learn to live and follow the way of the word of the Lord, the word of God. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my way. Read the Bible and let the Bible help you. Pray every day. Find a good church. Worship God. Love God and love his people. This is the way to heaven. In the way and in the name of Jesus Christ, our beloved Lord. Amen and amen.